YouTube, Big G back again with another video and this time the Acorn Electron. You would have seen that I picked this up now recently. I've actually got two of them and just the one is working and that is this one but it still has a few issues with it. Now I, kept, I plugged it in, switched it on and I wanted to test out a few games. I've never played games on an Electron before so I was very keen to see how it compared to like the Spectrum and the Amstrads and so forth and after about three four minutes it kept on crashing. For some unknown reason it just kept on crashing so I took it apart and uh, switched it back on again and just felt around on the different chips and uh, lo and behold it has a heat problem and that is specifically with the ULA chip so after about three four minutes it overheats to such an extent that the actual uh, machine crashes so I do want to play it so I thought I'd come up with a solution for it so this is a quick uh, demonstration video on how to put a heat sink onto that ULA chip so that you can overcome the heat problems for this electron machine. Okay, the electron is taken apart. You can see I've exposed the inlet and the problem chip is the ULA. What Acorn originally did in order to bring the costs down, they actually reduced the chip count on the actual board by getting Ferranti to create this all-in-one ULA chip, which was great for bringing down the costs but unfortunately it runs very very hot and doing a little bit of research on the net I found that this is a common problem with the electrons that uh, they run very hot now this system runs perfectly for about three minutes and then it crashes irrespective of what I'm doing even if I just leave it in basic and if I take it apart and uh, run it like this after three minutes I cannot put my finger on that chip it is running so hot it's actually cooking itself and eventually it will kill it that chip will actually eventually die so what I've decided to do is I'm actually going to put a heat sink on there and I quite simply went and grabbed one of my old PC motherboards I mean we all got them lying around the old crash motherboards and I scavenged our old heat sink off there you can see I've actually gone and trimmed it down I actually went and just cut it to make it smaller so that it will actually fit snugly on top of the ULA chip then what I'm going to do is use a little bit of the high performance thermal compound kit paste that you use on the modern day PCs and so that you can have better heat transfer from the chip to the heat sink and it also assist it in order to keep it down fast to that chip so that it doesn't move around and uh, that should then hopefully solve my heat issues on it I'll also put a little piece of cardboard on the top here because you can see you've got these little metal contacts on the uh, motherboard and I don't want them touching on there although it should be fine it, it shouldn't touch I've tested it it shouldn't touch but just to be on the safe side I don't want to short something else out solve the heat problem and then uh, have another issue to have to worry about so yeah I'm gonna paste this up and uh, see how it goes as you can see I put a little bit of the compound on there hopefully I haven't gotten used too much but uh, I always err on the side of caution so I always put a little bit too much then a little bit too little on there and I'm just gonna slot it on here and get it to stick down nicely it actually sits quite nicely in there and it, it's got adhesive properties so unless I leave the electron lying upside down for a while it may actually fall off but it, it shouldn't have a problem and I'll just stick that little section there right clip it underneath you've got this metal clip that actually holds this ULA chip down so I've just got one section of the actual heatsink just resting underneath there so hopefully now that's going to allow the heat sink to draw away the additional heat from the chip and let me run my system more stably. So let's put it back together and I'm going to test it out. Okay, I got the game up and running and uh, so far my PC, or oh, the Electron has been on for over half an hour, nearly 45 minutes and still no crashing. So let's have a look at what spheroids is like. Got a little tune going there, not very good, but still. Let's hit R. A to play the game. And it seems like it has to load another screen. I thought the spectrum was slow, but anyway, let's have a look. Wow, that was fast.
and I'm not very good at it. I say this must be one of the most difficult <laughs> arcanoid clones I've ever played. Wow, that ball does move fast. Well, all right. Ah, I mean, very colourful. But not easy. I'm not sure how many lives you actually get. I mean, this is the first electron game that I've played. Oh, goodness me, game over. Well, I must say, very colourful. Uh, I'm just glad that the electron is actually running correctly now and it's not crashing. So, I'm going to have a few more games and maybe I can post a high score on Intergo's site. Cheers, guys.